Hi, my name is Sean McGrath. I'm the founder of WideAwakeNews.com and a host on the Rinse Radio Network. I bring to you tonight a warning. I bring to you tonight information of a war that is ongoing right now. That's happening tonight as I sit here and make this video. And will happen tomorrow morning when we all get up. And it's not going to be brought to you by the mainstream media. The corporate-owned mainstream media that has a vested interest in you uh, following their agenda. It's not going to be brought to you by Washington, D.C., where we have a hand-picked uh, candidate on the right. And we have a hand-picked candidate on the left. And they're going to debate about anything and everything other than the really important issues. Your future. It's not going to be brought to you by the likes of Jamie Dimon, the folks on Wall Street who are engineering this war. Who are manipulating the uh, government of this country to uh, write legislation for them. It's not going to be brought to you by the City of London or any other central bank uh, around this planet. Because they have a vested interest in you losing. You are the, vi you are the spoils that will go to the victors. What I'm talking about is your very own financial future, your financial destiny. Will you have control over your own destiny, or will a bunch of bankers have control over your destiny? Will you enter into the neo-feudal system? Will you enter into it quietly, or will you enter into it kicking and screaming? Or will you fight for your own future? The International Monetary Fund came out today and lowered expectations across the planet, back to all the way back to 2009 levels, to the beginning of this so-called uh, uh, crisis, this engineered crisis. Now, Lagarde came out and said she really liked what happened in Europe in June when these nations got together and decided to change the ESM, European Stability Mechanism, from an institution that gave monies to governments that were hurting inside of the Eurozone to directly to banks. So instead of going to the people, to their governments, uh, and in, in a sense, to the people of these countries, it's now going to go directly into too big to fail institutions. So those banks, private banks, won't fail. This is what came out in June. This is what was celebrated in the mainstream business media as a fact. But the truth is, it wasn't a fact. These uh, representatives still had to go back home, to face a parliament and the people who absolutely do not want the ESM to be used to bail out a bunch of banks. So even though in June it was sold and we rallied because of this, uh, this new development, it wasn't set in stone. And Lagarde mentioned this today in uh, her uh, uh, news release. She said she was happy with the results of June, but the politicians were not acting fast enough and we could fall off a financial cliff. Now she turned the target uh, to the United States. Of course, the United States is the largest contributor to the International Monetary Fund and said if our politicians, if our Congress don't do the right thing, we could go off the financial cliff. Now, what is the right thing according to the International Monetary Fund? Well, the number one thing that was uh, mentioned in this release was that Congress can't bicker about raising the debt ceiling again. See, we went from $9 trillion in debt in uh, late 2007, early 2008, to roughly $16 trillion in debt in 2012. And if we stand in the way of piling more debt on you, then that's going to lead us uh, to go off a financial cliff, according to Lagarde. But every time they do this, every time they raise the debt ceiling, every time they put another trillion dollars on your back, the big fat institutions that we call too big to fail, they do just fine. As a matter of fact, they thrive on this kind of uh, injection of debt. You are the one that suffers. Your freedom is the one that gets taken away. So Lagarde's coming out begging, demanding, excuse me, demanding that we uh, issue more debt onto ourselves, that Europe comes in line and uh, issues the ESM directly to the banks and the United States raises that debt ceiling so we can go further and further into debt. The number one weapon being used in this uh, behind the scenes war is debt. They're using it to control the people of this planet. We need to understand and see this now. And it isn't just alternative media saying this. Richard Duncan on a CNBC interview today that I'll attach to this video. He says that we are on the verge of a Great Depression. We're going to see a credit freeze. And it's going to be a Great Depression that our civilization cannot survive. Economist uh, Roger Nightingale of uh, RND and Associates said we can uh, postpone it. We have postponed it. But there is no stopping the inevitable. We are going to go into a credit freeze and a Great Depression. This is all by design, and at the end of this day, when we enter into this Great Depression, we'll have all this load of debt on us. We'll have a, 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 a deflation of assets that you and I own, but these folks who've been sitting here hoarding it in for the last four and a half, five years on your dime will be sitting there ready to swoop up and buy up everything. Buy up everything or have your so-called politicians pledge everything that, of national asset to these same scumbag banksters who brought us here in the first place. Stories are attached. It's time to wake up. Seriously, if you don't believe, if you think this is all conspiratorial by now, please don't listen to me. Look into it for yourself. When we're talking about gay marriage and Obamacare, look, these are distractions. 
meant to keep you guessing, meant to keep you uh, mad at the guy who lives across the street from you, meant to get you into a red or blue camp. The reality of it is these people, Romney, Obama, they work for the exact same puppet masters. They don't work for you. Your interest is not in their heart. If it was, we wouldn't go from $9 trillion to $16 trillion in debt. We wouldn't have private bankers issuing the currency of this country. We wouldn't allow these uh, non-elected uh, individuals to run roughshod over our representative government. It's time to wake up and wake your friends up. Because this isn't going to uh, just go down this road of papering over and pretending everything's okay forever. In fact, looking at these warnings from the IMF, from our central bank here, from uh, uh, pundits even in the mainstream, they're about to unleash the greatest of great depressions. Stories are attached. That's all I got.